Some Mizzou fans are not thrilled about the Tigers' finish. They were 3-9 and nine down the stretch, but they are dancing, and they have an opponent they can beat in the first round. And keep in mind this, Mizzou was 9-4 and four this year against teams in the NCAA field. The Tigers are the ninth seed in the West. They will open up against Lon Kruger and Oklahoma, who've lost five out of their last six, game time 6:25 on Saturday. The winner gets Gonzaga, who has a St. Louis kid named Aaron Cook from Westminster playing meaningful minutes for the Bulldogs. Kansas is the number three seed. Will Eastern Washington be their Northern Iowa this year? Let's get back to Mizzou, though. Joining us now is the head coach at the University of Missouri, Conzo Martin. Coach, the goal of any coach when you start practicing in early fall is to get to the NCAA tournament. You've done it. Congratulations. Your emotions right now. Thank you, Frank. I'm very excited, man. I'm, I'm happy for our guys, man. Uh, it's been a great run. Had some bumps in the road. Guys stayed the course and to be an NCAA tournament team. It's just a fun time, fun feeling for our guys, excitement on our guys. It just really is a new season this time of year. It doesn't matter what seed you are, just basketball this time of year. We're excited to play against a very talented Oklahoma team. And your opponent is going to be Lon Kruger. Not that you're going to be playing against Lon, but coach, he kind of reminds me of your mentor, Gene Cady, a hard-nosed guy who always wins. He's got 700 victories. Your impressions of Lon Kruger? Very successful coach, a wonderful man. I've had time to spend with Lon. Uh, does a great job with his program. Uh, they play on both sides of the basketball. They defend you. They score the ball. They have really good guards, physical interior guys, a big guy that can shoot the ball. Uh, it'll, it'll be a fun matchup. Jeremiah Tillman, your impressions of Jeremiah? We know he had the, the two-game layoff because of the death of his grandmother, but how about Jeremiah at this stretch? Well, again, as, as good as any big in the country, we got to get him back to where he's playing with that A is Nick Ritter. Because when, he, when he's playing at that level, it's hard for anybody to stop him. But also get back to embracing that double team. When those teams come to double him in the post, embrace that, be aggressive in that, make good decisions with the basketball. But the other part, continue to run the floor like he was in the past, running the floor and defending that ball screen. When he's doing that, I mean, I'll take him against anybody in America. Coach, what about confidence level for your team? You had seven victories against quad one teams. You beat a number one seed. You've beaten some of the best teams in America. You got to feel like, hey, if we're playing our game, we can beat anybody. Oh, without question. We, and confidence, we don't, we don't worry about confidence. As long as we defend and we rebound and we plan hard consistently, we don't worry about confidence. And I think the biggest thing for us to concentrate on your assignment be keen on what you need to do to be successful on both sides of the basketball. And then you got to play for each other. When you do that, you have a chance to be very successful. 